Welcome to Thames Skin Clinic. My name is Dr Anna Hemming and I would like to share some skin health information with you. Let's take a look at how skin works. Skin is made of different layers. The outer layer is called the stratum corneum. It's very thin when you're young. It is full of flat, dehydrated keratinocytes. These skin cells need to be exfoliated to keep the skin thin and the skin healthy. Underneath the stratum corneum lies the epidermis, a layer of living keratinocytes with the function to protect the inner body. They give the skin hydration with melanocytes at intervals containing melanin that gives you your natural skin colour. Keratinocytes are made on the basement membrane and take six weeks to progress up to the stratum corneum at which time they dehydrate. Hair follicles and oil glands sit within the epidermis. The oil or sebum gland excretes oil onto the outer skin surface, coating the dead skin cells and preventing their exfoliation. As the outer layer thickens, the epidermis starts to dehydrate. A thick stratum corneum is brittle and cracks allow moisture to leave through these microchannels. Dehydration of keratinocytes causes fractures in the cell walls, allowing the release of cell chemicals, causing irritation and inflammation. Let's put creams onto the skin. Most non-medical creams bought in a drugstore or over the counter will literally sit on the skin surface, blocking the exfoliation process of skin cells, making the stratum corneum thicker. The build-up of more dead skin cells causes lazy skin syndrome due to the dehydration, chemical release and inflammation in the epidermis. Inflammation is one of the single most important things that ages the skin and causes issues with your skin. Inflammation makes your skin red, hot and sensitive. It will make your skin feel dry, even though it is not dry. This is a full sense of dryness due to sensitivity and dehydration. Inflammation will increase oil production, pore size and the likelihood of spots, blackheads, whiteheads, pustules and cysts. In others, inflammation will increase the skin's redness and veins appear. Other external factors influence the skin's behaviour such as the sun, pollution, lifestyle, food, exercise and hormones all inflammatory markers in your skin. The sun also stimulates melanocytes in your epidermis to excite and release melanin, causing pigmentation. UVB rays penetrate into the epidermis. UVA rays attack through the epidermis into the dermis. Harmful environmental visible light and infrared rays get even deeper. All these rays of light damage your skin. Under the epidermis lies the dermis, the structural component of the skin, containing collagen fibres and elastin, allowing strength and stretch, both formed by fibroblast cells using hyaluronic acid. As you age, your body produces less hyaluronic acid than it needs, and by the time you're 50, you produce only 50% of the hyaluronic acid compared to when you were 20 years old. Under the dermis lies a superficial fat whose density is determined by genetics, lifestyle and the ageing process. It strengthens the firmness of the dermis and holds a superficial structure. Deep to the superficial fat are the facial muscles of contraction, which cause the dynamic facial movements of expression. Within the wrinkles caused by muscle movement, we create static lines visible at rest. The deeper structures are the deep fat pads and underlying bone. Both lose volume as you age, creating the smaller facial frame for the overlying structures to rest upon. Reduction in the deep volume causes folds and dips in the facial appearance, including the temple hollows, marionette lines, nasolabial folds and jowls. In your consultation, we will be able to discuss how we can help your skin and the structures underneath to improve your concerns. We hope you've enjoyed this short video.